One of the most important tools you can develop and hone as a communicator is the art of paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is an essential tool for communication. It allows you to do so many things. By paraphrasing, what I mean is not parroting back what somebody says, like an annoying young child. Rather, it's about extracting the key essence or meaning of what somebody says. I like to think to myself, it's the bottom line. The goal in paraphrasing is not to get it exactly right, but just to highlight something. So as you're listening, and by the way, listening is a critical, essential ingredient to being good at paraphrasing. You must make sure you listen clearly and intently to what the person is saying. Most of us are very bad listeners. We only listen to get the gist or the high-level idea of what somebody's saying, and then we begin judging, evaluating, and rehearsing what we want to say. When you're listening to paraphrase, you're listening for that key essence, that bottom line. Once you understand what that bottom line is, you simply say it back in as concise and clear way as you can. A paraphrase, by definition, should be shorter than what the person said. Now, paraphrasing does five essential things for you. First, it validates the person you're communicating with. When you paraphrase back what they've said, they feel validated, they feel heard, and that feels really good. Second, it not only validates the person, it validates that you heard what they said. Maybe you missed something or there was some nuance that didn't come through. It gives them the opportunity to correct or adjust what you've said. So it validates the person and confirms the message. If you are presenting or leading a meeting or moderating a panel, the third thing paraphrasing does is it makes sure everybody heard what's being said. It gets everybody on the same page. Imagine you're in a large room and you are presenting and somebody asks a question and they're sitting right in front of you. The people behind them might not have heard the question. So by paraphrasing, you make sure everybody knows what you're about to respond to. When we're virtual, same thing happens. We've all heard those technical audio snafus where somebody says something and not everybody hears it. The paraphrase allows to make sure everybody hears what you're saying. The fourth thing paraphrasing does is it buys you time. Paraphrasing is what we call a lower order cognitive skill. In other words, it takes cognitive effort, but not complete cognitive effort. So I can be paraphrasing and begin to think about what I will say next, the question I will ask, or where I will take the conversation. So paraphrasing buys you time. Paraphrasing also allows you to manage conversation. What do I mean by that? We've all been in a situation where somebody has dominated the conversation. Maybe it's somebody who raises their hand and asks a long-winded question. Maybe it's somebody who just wants to show you how smart they are, or how much they know about the topic. Maybe it's somebody who's just lost and they're, they're articulating what they're trying to figure out as they say it. In any of these circumstances, you can use a paraphrase to regain control and regain focus. Extract something of value that they've said and then move on. Or pull a question out of what they're thinking so you can answer the question. So if somebody's rambling on and on, I might say, ah, that question about cost is really important. And then you can answer the question. Or you could say, cost sounds really interesting. In fact, I'd love to hear and call on somebody else to talk about it. Paraphrasing, to my mind, is the most polite way to interrupt and to regain control of communication. Now, I said there are five things paraphrasing helps you with. Validation of person, validation of message. It makes sure everybody hears, buys you time, and allows you to manage conversation. There's a bonus. That's not all. Paraphrasing allows you to reframe the topic. Now, we have to be careful here. I'm not advocating for doing this. I'm simply saying this is a tool that you can use to do this. When somebody asks you a question or brings information to you, you can reframe it as something else. Now, I'm not saying become a politician and answer the question you wish you were asked versus what you were asked. 
but you can reframe something to make it a little easier for you to answer and address as long as it ties back to the initial issue. Let me give you an example. Imagine you are selling a product and somebody asks you a question. They say, why is that product, why is your product so expensive? That's a tough question to answer. You certainly don't want to paraphrase and say, so you're asking why this product's so expensive. Bad idea. Rather, you might say, the value of our product is. Question was about price. Notice my paraphrase says the value of the product is. And then I go through my entire value proposition. And at the end, I say, and because of the value we provide, we charge the price we do. So I answered the price question. It's really about value. But I, in the paraphrase, I immediately reframe it to be about value. Again, I'm not advocating you do this. I am simply saying that paraphrasing is the manner through which you would do that if you wanted. Paraphrasing is an essential communication skill. I encourage each of you to practice paraphrasing. You do that by listening and thinking to yourself, what's the bottom line? Thank you.